Let's start it. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Double honors, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. God is pushing this group through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom unto the scattered Israelites, the speculable Israelites who be scattered among the Eden and look like the Eden. And Shalom unto the few and faithful sisters listening and learning. Here the brothers from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp. Brother Yeroshalom. Brother Kyle. Brother Ahimad Bayan. Correct, is that? Can come and have to choose the spirit and power of your Basham, your Shai, Basham, your Kapodash. Right, we continue in, in the spirit of the breaking down the book of Revelation. Right, revealing prophecy. Right, we, um, we're about to jump into Revelation 13. Right, Revelation 13 chapter. Right, which is a very important chapter for the, in today's time. Right, we now be coming close to being accomplished. Right, you know, coming to pass. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Can. Let's go um Revelation 13 and verse 1. Can. Revelation 13 and 1. It reads, <clears throat> And I stood upon the sand of the sea, mm -hmm. and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, right. having seven heads and ten horns, mm -hmm. and upon his horns ten crowns, mm -hmm. and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Right, that beast now, when you look up that word beast, you want to look up that word beast, right? Yeah. Because, you know, the Bible is not a... It's not a literal book, you know, it's not it's not a, a, a not for carnal minds then, right? It's a metaphoric book. Right? So when you see that word beast, it's not like what the what the plantation Christians say, you know, it's a real beast, it's a monster coming out from the sea and all that. No, and I I, I understand. Yeah, well you will get to that too. Right? You know, it's not they're not talking about that. Right? You can get? Yeah, let me see if I Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> right there, the blue letter. Mm -hmm. Right. It says, well, metaphor, right? Right. A brutal, well, it says, bestial yeah. man. Yeah. Savage or ferocious. Right, the beast man. What are you talking about? That's right? going into what he saw, he saw Edom. And so, so it's a metaphor, it's metaphoric. And right? You know, because this, this chapter, really going into how the process of how he saw would get the, you know, the fatness of the earth. Right, which was the prophecy in Genesis the 27 chapter that his father Isaac sit, um, gave unto him. Done. Right, when he got his blessing, his blessing was the fact that he had the sword. Right, so this was basically going through the different the systems and the different kingdoms that make up his, his rulership structure. Right, so, and even when I say, um, when I say the beast, right, and I would to prove that it's um, a metaphorical too because mm -hmm. I tell a lot of scriptures that we fool one thing to another, you know, just to give you an idea because the Lord could have made those one real long and say, you know, he saw it just had a big nation that real ferocious and wicked and thing, but instead he just used beast, mm -hmm. you know, also too because he he according to emotion seven, you know, he revealed his um secrets on the seven the prophet. Mm -hmm. So of course Christians they could believe that this this is a beast, you know, a literal beast and whatnot. You know, but for us we will know because you know, the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit to listen in this. Can, can. You know? Scripture say that the, um, the righteous will understand, man. The wicked will understand. Can. You know, and even two thirds of our people, you know, they're in the system, they're wicked. Can. They are they are the mind of the slave master, Esau Edom. Can. Right? They believe in this in this devil system. Right? Which is why they're gonna take that M E R K. You know? That, that, that going in. So when we continue in here it says it's all about I stood upon the sand of the sea. The sea represent the people. Um I you know I I might you want to get Revelation 17 and 15? Yeah, because you know, the sea represents the people. I think it's, yeah, I believe it's 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, you go ahead. This is the book of. 
Sitters. Sitters. Mm -hmm. Are orphans and multitudes and nations and tongues. Right, all these nations and these tongues, right? You know, so the the beast, the beast basically coming out of all these peoples, right? All these nations and all these tongues. Like I said, I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Right, these different nations, you know. Um, the beast, beast being NATO and European Union, mm. right? You know, um, which was basically formed by initially by the Treaty of Rome in 1957, right? Which was it, 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 the beast, the NATO was created to, as a counter, as a counter offensive to, um, to, to, to Russia or the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union powerhouse, right? This is why they created NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, right? Alright, continue down here, you want to read it over? Let me just get some more meat out of it. And right in the verse 1, mm -hmm. it says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea mm -hmm. and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, Can. having seven heads and ten horns. Right, seven, seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads go back to the, the you know, that, that um, ancient rulerships. Right, um, the, 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 the Greeks, Romans, Germany, Major, Germany, Minor, um, France, Spain, and Great Britain. Right, and out of Great Britain came what America, right? America was that was that little horn, right? Okay, and it says what and ten okay. horns, okay. right? Well, you know that in the, there was the ancient ten horns that came out of the Roman Empire. Um, I think I have, I have a list here: the Vandals, the Ostrogoths, the Alemanni, Franks, the Visigoths, the Burgundians, the Lombards, the Anglo-Saxons, the, the Suebi, and the Horeli, right? And you know, these were the initial ten horns that came up in the ancient Roman Empire, right? And then there's the new ten horns, you know, which was created with the European Union, all right? So when it, when it was inaugurated, okay? I they, remember, they, they, yeah. still up here, I remember, yeah. and the one priest was talking about the ham, mm -hmm. when they realized that they fulfilled this prophecy with the ten horns, they tried to add on, and the one. That's what I was now going to say. What's your largest spread? I don't know what I'm saying. So I think, I believe right now it's about 28 or more nations. Mm. Right, that they added on to this, to this, um, to, to the, the well, basically horns. And the reason why they did this is to offset, thinking they could offset prophecy, sure. right? But the initial, the initial, um, initial nations that that joined, I believe, was six, and then there was an additional, the additional four that joined later on, right, gradually up to the 1980s, sure. right? And that was made up of ten nations, right? So, you know, you saw, you know, you can't, you can't offset prophecy. I, I feel it, right? So all these these states here, these 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 ten, these ten horns or these twenty-eight nations as it is for now, which it makes sense that they would have more because right now they have the whole fatness of it. Long time, you know, in the ancient time, Rome was a small place and they didn't they didn't rule the whole literal whole earth. Now in this time, the revised Roman Empire pretty much own the whole known earth. They run everything right there. That's why they have embassies in every almost every country, yeah. right? So it makes sense that they would have. Create more, more, com more countries paying um, tribute to them, which is what Basel means when you go into the meaning of Basel. You know, you know, get that? Okay. Yeah, so that Basel state. What let me, let's see what Basel state is. You know, this is Basel or Basel state. You can put type in Basel or Basel state. You see what it says. I can see a Basel state is any state that is that has a mutual obligation. To a superior state or empire. Right, so all these all these minor minor um, countries are the European Union, NATO, the superior is Babylon the Great. Right. America, because she's the whole that sit upon many waters, she's the whole that sit upon the peace. Mm. Right? Scripture was a whole shall future because they've never been touched. Right. Because they, they, they puffed up in us and where you know, they mm -hmm. tell us that Adam make a power. Right. Okay. So God set them up. That's right. So but so the, the, the and these states here. They basically um, um, they give their power to the beast, right? Well, the economic power, military power, right? You know, but they are lesser powers, right? They are lesser powers. Um, in time, in the ancient time, um, Judea, Jerusalem was a was a vassal state, you know, to Rome, right? Which means they pay tax, they pay tributes, etc., etc., to the Roman Empire, right? You know, you know, it, it, and that go into the iron and clay, but we didn't go and go into that for this lesson, okay. right? Um, yeah, for the name, in terms of what, let me go back to Revelation 13. There's some rain coming. Let me go back to Revelation 13. Yeah, man, go to Revelation 13 and verse 1. It said, upon his head was the name of blasphemy, right? Um, somebody can bring the carpet. I want to bring 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 4. 
the second Thessalonians 2 and 4. But this devil, this devil is always um blaspheming the name of the heaven, name and the image of the heavenly father, the angels, right, etc. Thessalonians 2 and 4, mm -hmm. um, who um, imposed it and exalted him himself above all that is called power, mm -hmm. or that is worshipped, mm -hmm. so that he, as, as Yahweh, set it in the temple of power, mm -hmm. showing himself that he showing himself yeah, that yeah, he yeah, is Yahweh. Right, so he's saying, he's saying that, hey, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying he's the, it's a hell of a the most high, he's, he's the most high. Yeah. Right, and he changed the image of the father and the son, you know, to look like him. Right, to look like the devil, right, the so-called white man. Right, and you know, and, and the ultimate aim is, of course, to get inside of you. And that's the ultimate aim of this devil. Why even when they read down in the same Revelation 13, it says, and upon his head, the name of blasphemy. Right, the name of blasphemy. Right, that, that's the banner which they push forward. That they, they pseudo science. You know, they don't worry about the Lord. The uh, Lord, the Lord, the capability. It's just about the pseudo science. Right, lies. Right, this little man is a man of perdition, a man of destruction. Okay. They jump to verse 8 now. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And then shall the wicked reveal it, mm -hmm. whom the power shall consume with the spirits of his mouth. Right, and we, we reveal in this devil, right, and his blasphemy, and who he is, right, you know, the devil and, and his beast system. Right? Go ahead. Uh. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, when the Lord come with the chariots, he's going to take him out. He's going to kill him. He's going to take him out. Right? You know? So this devil, what he's trying to do now is, is, take, over, is take over the world with his wicked beast system. Right? And he, do, he does everything in opposition to the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? If you go back in history with the Greeks, the Greeks, um, you know, they, they blasphemed the Most High too. Everything they did was unrighteous. You know, they set up, um, they, they set up um, uh, um, uh, the temple and worship worship um Zeus which is um the god Jupiter in the temple right and and and, and sacrifice on clean flesh swine's flesh right that is right you know and that was the Lord the Lord establishing his balance you know the Lord of course balances and abominations him so he set the balance up for the wicked up to for the time to rule right um I think you can get out in first Maccabees um, um I might you could bring now First Maccabees one and seven. First Maccabees one and seven. Mm -hmm. Alexander, yeah. This is uh first Maccabees one and seven. Yeah. So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died. Mm -hmm. And his servants there rule every one in his place. And that, that's what started up the whole the whole system. That's the that's the genesis of the system. The, the Grecian so-called Grecian Empire. Mm. Right? That was that that was, that was the um, when you go back to the, the seven heads, Greek was the first. Right? And Alexander was the first king. Right? So now let's let's jump to verse two. With um Revelation 13 and 2. Okay. It reads. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Right. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Right. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Mm -hmm. And the dragon gave him his power and a seat and great authority. Right. So they say it was like unto a leopard. Um, uh, somebody, Kratos, I want to bring um, Daniel 7 and 6. Daniel 7 and 6. But the, the leopard go back to the Greeks, right? You know who they were like, not all leopard, right? Um, in fact, um, this, 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 the same devil was just reading about. I was just reading about, right? Um, Alexander the Greek, yeah, he used to wear a leopard, a leopard head as a, as, as a helmet, right? You understand? A leopard helmet. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, 
That's what he, that's what he used to wear. So so they're talking about they're talking about, about these devils here. Yeah. All right. Um, somebody bring we can bring Daniel seven and six. Yeah, Daniel seven and six. Oh, oh, nah. Nah. Yeah. yeah, you can listen in or something. Yeah, listen in. Yeah, so there's Daniel 7 and 6, right? You went, you went. Book of Daniel 7 and 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After this, I beheld, mm -hmm. and I know another like, uh, like a leopard mm -hmm. which had upon the back of his four wings. Right. Of the fowl. For the beast also four heads. Right, which went into the, um, the generals. And when he died, what he gave his dominion to what the four generals, right? Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Hmm? Yeah. Nice. Nah, he can go in a portion if you want to do it. Go ahead. Minion was given. To it. Right, so given to minion was given to it. Mm -hmm. Right, after we want to bring back and read on a little bit in the um, first Maccabees. Now nah, you can't read her. First, yeah, go ahead. So, first Maccabees. Yeah. Yeah. Read on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. First Maccabees. One and nine. And after his death. Mm -hmm. Behold, put crowns upon themselves. Right. So did the sons after them. Right. Many years. Mm -hmm. And evils were multiplied in the earth. Right. Wickedness was multiplied. Right. When these when these four generals took over, right? Was his kingdom Alexander kingdom was divided into four, right? Um, if you could jump back into jump back to Daniel. Uh, yeah, Daniel seven and can I go to the seven gallery? Yeah. Yeah. Daniel seven. Mm -hmm. Daniel seven and seven. After yeah. this, I saw in the night a vision, mm -hmm. and behold, mm -hmm. before this, right, dreadful and terrible mm -hmm. and strong exceedingly right. and it had great iron teeth right i devoured like it devoured it devoured mm -hmm. and break in pieces right and stamped the residue with the feet of it right and it was diverse from all these right this that's on body roman empire the ancient roman empire right, right. go ahead that would be for it it had ten horns. Right, so you see ten horns that we went through, right? So you see how we're coming together. Now, um, yeah, well, let me go back to Revelation 13, verse 2. So we know the leopard, what the leopard speaking about. Alright? And um, the Greeks were very swift, you know, the army was, the, 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 the Lord made them very swift. The army military was strong, the strategy was strong. Right, which going to the blessing that Esau, right? Even when you go to um, in Genesis with, the, with Cain, Cain was the first one who used to forge weapons. Mm -hmm. was forge our weapons right so the so the, the 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 military you know you know the military was always very strong um i think you could get in um um habakkuk one and eight habakkuk one and eight um i imagine you, 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 you yeah yeah habakkuk one and eight baba for sure Yeah. The horses also are swifter than the leopards. Hmm. See. And and are more fierce. Than now you know. Now you notice know, they um they talk about leopards there, right? Alright, go ahead. The Christians. Yeah, like the Christians. Yeah. Go ahead. And are more fierce than. The evening, the evening wolves. Mm -hmm. And their horsemen shall spread themselves. Right, which means the military was spread out across the earth conquering, from fort to conquer. Right, go ahead. And their horsemen shall come from far, mm -hmm. shall fly from the eagle. As the eagle, right? No, right. We know what we know what that. We know that's the, as the symbol synonymous with Esau Edom. Right, go ahead. I will take you money from him. 
So that's the military, right? You know, and they always say, these devils always say, you know, uh, civilization started with the Greeks. Civilization didn't start with the Greeks. Yet. We had kingdoms before, we had the Babylonian, the Assyrian, the Babylonian, the Medio Persian, right? You know, but the reason why they say that is because why right, that was the start of the Edomite Empire. That's when Esau first began to rule. Right? Um, um, you can get uh Kratos and bring bring Daniel eight and five, Baba Pasha. Daniel eight and five. So you see who the eagle in the scripture is talking about. Right. So you spread across this whole earth. You see that in the last scripture. Go ahead. Touch not the ground. So he that devil was flying, he was conquering everybody. Right? Go ahead. And the boat had and the boat had but you know what I mean? Notable. Right. Between his eyes. Right. So, so the Grecian Empire, notable one going to Alexander the, the, the Great, the Greek. Right. Now jump down to verse 20. And the captain says something. Yeah, go ahead. You see how it says how the touch not the ground and mm -hmm. all other when when the saw was doing this. Mm -hmm. right? All that is why they could they could come now and say, you know, as a poet to open I one. Mm -hmm. Right. But they say they so they exalted the self as an eagle who they, they say who shall bring me down to the ground mm -hmm. you know so right now they 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 so puffed up because of all the achievements right right they 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 telling us well oh, you know we still have we plan we plan you know and things mm -hmm. again you know, right? successful yeah yeah you know so them telling us who could bring them down <laughs> yeah the pride of the heart had deceived it mm. oh that's well that's in the cleft of the rocks, rocks yeah. yeah the lord gonna roll it down from them high place <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 You go ahead. Bring it up. Right. Yeah. Ram, which you saw is having two horns, right. king of the media and Persia. So actually, Ram, which you saw it having two horns, king of the media and Persia, right? You know, came before the media and Persian empire, came before the Christian empire. Go ahead. Verse 21. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. And the, reeds, and the rough boat mm -hmm. is the king of the um, of the Grisha. Of Grisha, right, right? Go ahead. And the Greek horn that is between his eyes is the first king, which is Alexander the Greek. Yeah. Right. So that, that, that's how that's how that's how the kingdom started up. Right. Now, when you go back to Revelation 13 and 2, it speaks about um. It says it has it speaks about beer. Now this beer going into Russia. Right? Contrary to popular belief and certain breakdowns from the other camps, Russia was not a part right, of the seven heads. Right? Russia is not a part. Russia, Russia basically signify a weapon you know, in the hand of the Lord of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to take down this devil kingdom. Right? That's the reason why it appears the feet of a bear because the end of an animal is what is his feet. So Russia is signifying the end. Right? But Russia is known, noted as um, um, what's the name of it? Gog and Magog, right? In the scriptures, in Ezekiel 36 chapter, it's the name as Gog and Magog, right? Ezekiel 36, right? So this is the, uh, Russia being the main kingdom that's going to take out Babylon the Great, which is America, right? Um, what else we have here? We talk about the, the, the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, right? That going into Great Britain, right? Because Great Britain was another major power, part of the, 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 the Edomite Empire. Alright? Um, let's see, let's see. It says it reads, And the dragon gave him his power. What, who is the dragon? The dragon is the ancient Roman Empire. Right? Which um, go back to the Greco Roman Empire because Greece reigned first, as we saw, right? Um, gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So this ancient Roman Empire was a dreadful empire. Right, as we read it, Jogdi for one break in pieces. Mm. Right, and mash up all the other kingdoms, right? That came before. And now we could continue in verse 3. Go ahead. Right. So, verse 3 in Revelation 13, it says, mm -hmm. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, 
right and his deadly wound was healed mm -hmm. and all the world wandered after the beast so his head wounded that go into the pagan roman empire when they, when they fell right um around 400 430 something the 476 um ad right and it was replaced by what the byzantine empire the so-called the so-called um the whole holy roman empire you know in that period also known as the dark ages right when edom rome was taken down right and jake's rule in his stead right jake jake being um, the byzantine representing the byzantine empire right and esau became what become a became a nobody right they were they were restricted and locked away in the caucasus mountain for a thousand years right um you had Jake rulers from, um, I believe, it's Septimius, Septimius Severus, right? Who, where, where, where the fall of Rome began, and then it went on to where, when the full, when the full fall um, was accomplished, Constantine, the Emperor Constantine, you know, they, they managed to fully take down the, the ancient pagan Roman Empire, right? So that was the head that was wounded to death, right? The Lord took them down, right? And they were, they became um, back to where they really were. They were nothing. They were pieces of men. They were like, um. They were dragging on their knuckles, yeah. right? And we go in Job 30, 30 a chapter, mm. right? They were dragging on their, 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 their knuckles, right? Can um, well, uh, I mad? You will bring out Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3. Yeah, they were cave dwellers, we. Right? Yeah, this man. <laughs> Kill them dead now that they're so dignified, eh? Yeah, can. Dignified mass. Yeah, they feel like they're on top of the world. Well, uh, they're civilized. Yeah. <laughs> they're far from civilized. Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come yeah, down from heaven, right. having the key of the bottomless pit. Oh, well, yeah, how was I? Had the key of the bottomless pit. Right, the bottomless pit being, being, being um, Europe. Right? Go ahead. And the great chain in his hand. The chain represents slavery, right? Slave to lay hold on slavery on, 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 on the Edomites. Go ahead. And he laid hold on the dragon mm -hmm. that that old serpent. Right. Which is the devil and Satan. You know, we're not talking about the spiritual angel Satan here. Are yes. we talking about a man? Yes. Right? There was a, it's a man. Yes. Right, go ahead. And bound him thousand years right so he spent about a thousand years around the same time period that jake was ruling in europe you know he was he was locked away you know with a spiritual seal in the caucasus mountain mm. go ahead uh. and cast him into the bottomless pit mm -hmm. and shut him up mm -hmm. and set a seal upon right. him kind of spiritual seal go ahead that he should deceive the nations mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. till the thousand years should be Fulfilled. Hmm. And after that, he must be loose, loosened in the season. Right, and he was loose a little season in the Renaissance period from around 1450s. Right, from, yeah, up to present. Yeah, Come up to present day. You know? I'd say for a little season, you just say Esau, you're not going to be ruling forever. Yeah, because when you really think season. about it, when you, when you, when you understand, you can look at the time periods. Alright, Jake ruled from about what, 476 AD to 1453. That's over a thousand, about eleven 1 hundred years. Mm -hmm. Right? He's only getting like about three, four, fifty to four hundred years. Yeah. So even though it's steaming long in our time, because we're mortal right now. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not a long time. We yeah. rule for a much longer time. Um, right? See that? So <laughs> so I wanna try to yeah. try to um to, to keep the king now forever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but this devil, this devil, you know, he's so wicked and draconian. And have so much unrighteous decrees that it, it's a heavy burden on us. Mm -hmm. Now what the scripture says is to wear all the sins. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. so, how much damage you doing in less than that or in here? Can now can. Yeah. And I why Lord don't allow him to rule more than that. Can. Right? But he pretty much is, is you know, <laughs> hey, Lord already appointed his appointed his boy bounds which he cannot pass. Can. Right? Can. So during the Renaissance period, you know, when, around the time of the Renaissance is when Constantinople was taken by the Ottoman Empire. Yes. Right? After what after Jake ruled for eleven hundred years. You know, great Jake gradually, within about a hundred or so years, you know, begin to be taken out of power. Right? Which is really Lord doing it. Lord was setting this devil back up to rule for a little season. Right? Um, we even read verse 4, verse 4 going into another thousand year period. Let's jump to verse 7 now, Baba Krishna. This is Revelation 20 and 7. Mm -hmm. 
and when the thousand years are expired, mm -hmm. Satan shall be loosened out of his prison. Mm -hmm. Can so that is where him be being loose out of his prison, right? Um, you read your internet, yeah, loose here. During the Renaissance period, as we say, you know, he gonna he basically come out of, come out of there with a vengeance. Mm. You know, you know, um, Malachi one and four saying, you know, the Lord say he will he will he will take him down. They say they will rebuild. They build a desolate place. So they come back in with a wicked system to push the confusion. Mm. Right, a wicked policy. I thought we to sit down in the very plan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're in the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you take over the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know? can feel just like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. And the word serpent, when they go into the scriptures, yeah, the word serpent, um, go into the word nakash, which means a diviner, a worker of witchcraft, of sorcery. Which is what he did since in the garden, right? You see, he would what sorcery, witchcraft. Even when, when they go into the word mm -hmm. serpent, and I believe on the normal browser, a Google translation, it say a wicked. Mm -hmm. um, um, where is it where I am? Oh, I'm, I'm wicked, a man. Yeah, it's a, sure. um, a subtile man or something. I can't yeah. remember exactly what it say, but it was no literally. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. going to you could go, or you can get any letter if you want. Oh, yeah, it's a cunning and treacherous person. Right, a cunning and a treacherous person. Yeah. See that? Yeah, that why it get last like when I did search it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. The master yeah, deception. See, yeah. See? Well the first meaning is a large snake, but you know it's not applying to them. But the second one is a sly or treacherous person. Mm. Especially one who exploits a position of trust in order to betray it. Right, so yeah, they exploit a position of trust. They come they come as a lamb. Yeah. Right, when they really are dragon. Can. Or even when the scriptures say, oh, the, the, the words are smaller and butter. Well, we have, oh, I had that scripture <coughs> right down there too. Can. Yeah, because yeah, that, that is exactly it. Yeah. And, and when we go on later on, we'll talk about the, um, it, it comes as a lamb. It had two horns that look like a lamb with two horns, but speak as a dragon. Yeah. And I'm going right into the scripture, you know, quote there. Can. But that's what it is, you know, the they, 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 they words are smaller and butter, but they were drawn swords. Can. Yeah, they're speaking to you nice. And when they come into a ring, where a dragon is, you blow fire on you. Yeah. You see, alive. cook your life, Fresh right? Quality. Yeah, you understand? Um, Kratza, um, you could bring Nahum 3 and 4, Baba Krishna. Mm -hmm. Nahum 3 and 4, yeah. Which is the whole that sits upon many waters, the whole that sits on the beast for yeah. America, Babylon the Great. Go ahead. The, mis the mysteries. Mistress. The mistress of mm -hmm. witchcraft. Hmm. Go ahead. That selleth nations through her cordons mm -hmm. and the families through her witchcraft. And family through her witchcraft, right? Her, 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 her democracy. Right. right? They go over the world and say, oh, nah, we don't want um um, the tyrant leadership and the Lord set up the Lord set up a, 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 a leader a king as leader mm. one man right but they set up what democracy which is a part of the beast system yeah. right you know they different policies the wicked policies pushing um, uh, freaking fairyism <laughs> right you know um, they, 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 they treat transgressions of the education system the medicines the poetry the romance the wickedness all of it is evil Completely opposite to how the Lord set it. That's right, you know. And America is like a dedication to, to Satan, right? Uh, uh, mm. Altar to Satan. Because mm. everything, every abominable work is done there. Because uh, that was going to say earlier too, but um, when I was saying they, they, um, God, I'm so funny. You come back here. <laughs> you come back here, but you know, but Nahum, Nahum, Nahum was in Nineveh, you know, in a, a Syrian. Babylon was the capital of Assyria and Babylon, right? Okay. But um, 
in that time too, you know, you saw, you saw they, they were doing the same thing, they were doing the same thing like what happened now in America, right? They had different things going on. Now, in America, they had a lot of these things from the Hamites, right? But first, it was the Assyrians reigning by and after the Hamites reigning after, right? But they were cross dressing, um, what do you call it? Trans, trans, right? You probably be careful seeing who's the word because they're so wicked, right? Um, yeah, I remember what I'm not saying. Remember? Right. Yeah, is um, when you are saying how. If it is they, 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 if the Lord did allow them to do longer than they did, because I was gonna say that same thing, they push that freaking fairy or something. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine now, like, by the time that thousand years ready to end now, yeah. by the time they're done, everybody is either like cyborg yeah. or everybody zombie. Mm -hmm. It has zombies, it has cyborgs, and it has all the rest who, who, who practically just, you know, opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, they enter the, 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 the same sex. Mm. Yeah. Wickedness, wickedness, yeah. all of it, everything in opposition, yeah. the culture, death. Right. Right. They make these people make a covenant with death. Right. But Esau is as hell and it's just death. Right. right? You know, and the scripture says he can't be satisfied. That's why this devil, you know, he ruined the whole world and he still wants more. He still mm. wants 100% control of every man, woman, and child. Right? right? The scripture says how he am. Um, he mm -hmm. can't be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Can't be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Can't be satisfied. Greedy. Right, now let's go to Revelation 13, where we reach um, verse 3. No, verse 4. Verse, verse 4, reach. Yeah. Right, and they say, um, okay. No, yeah, wait. We didn't, preach, 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 we didn't break down our part. It says, mm -hmm. all the world wandered after the beast. Yeah. Right, all the world wandered after the beast. They give their, they give their power over to the beast system, the ways. They follow the ways, yeah. the witchcraft, the sorcery. Right? When when the um the, the European Economic Um Commission was set up they set up the Treaty of Rome in nineteen fifty seven on March twenty fifth, right, which brought back that old image, the old way of life. Right of Roman the, the, the draconianness of Rome, which means anything anytime you go against the state, you know, they have a they have a law where they put you to death. Right? A lot of that was going on, they X you out. Right? Now let's go to verse four. Yeah. Verse 4, it says, And they worship the dragon mm -hmm. which gave power unto the beast. Mm. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Mm. Who is able to make war with him? Yeah, we're able to make war with him because they're powerful. Right? They see how the United Nations see how, how powerful the military was, how swift they was, you know, how they was as conquering easy. You know, they say it and they say, Boy, boy, this man's special, boy. This had to be the man. This had to be the man to be able to bow down to and follow. This had to be like people are God. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <'Cause laughs> you know? So the, the irony in the scriptures where it's all mm. the code. Call them a virgin, but yeah. they still is a whore. Yeah, can. 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 You know? Confusion too. But mm. anyway, anyway, you know, that's to show you how powerful this devil was too, even with the squid game, you know. People, he make people go willingly and go and take the squid, play the squid game. Right? Take, take, take the, um, no, take that jump shot, three points. Okay. Right? And now people suffering as a result. And they take the supplegen. And they, yeah, you check, yeah, supplegen gonna get a boost. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know? You can see it. Yes, you know? That, this, this is what happened. It's actually how, how convincing the, the, this beast system is, right? Right? So it's, real good so deception. They, yeah, they worship the beast. See, and who like the beast? You know, who's able to make war with them, right? NATO is a super force. Mm. Right? They're powerful, we're together. Right, you know, with all the bombs, all the different technology, right? You know, but you know, they like well, who gonna take down this man? We need the Lord to come and take down this man, right? The Lord is gonna set up Russia. He gave Russia the adv more advanced technology with the sword, the ICBM nuclear missile, okay. the avant-garde system, so, you know, you know, and the um and the and the RS twenty eight Samat system, right, to take out this devil, right, as well as the chariots, you know. Mm. The Lord had to come and the Lord gave him the power. The Lord will take him out. Right? Now let's go to verse 5. There you go. Can it say, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things mm. and blasphemies. Mm. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Yeah, there was given unto him, unto him a, a mouth speaking great things, boy. You know, all the, 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 the idol worship, the lies, the, the pseudo science, everything. Pushing those, pushing those things, right? Yeah, right? which is. Things are yeah, the yeah, deception. Yeah. Correct. Correct, you know, you know, 
and they, and they're proud of it too and they say boy well, look at what we do and look at what we accomplish you know but at the end of the day it's the most high who set him up mm. right when you go to daniel i think it's daniel is it daniel 4 and 17 you can check that from the basis amen the lord set up on the basis amen mm. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead. You want to bring it out? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Daniel 1 17, it says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers mm -hmm. and the demand by the word of the holy ones. The watchers are the angels. Go ahead. Then, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whomsoever he will yeah. and set it up over it, the basis of men. The basis of men, as according to Job 2, say, yeah, these knuckle dragon beasts. <laughs> Right, nothing dragon, long haired beast. Mm. Right, he saw aka, he saw Edom, he so called white man. Right, devil, devil. The scripture speak about right, he's the lowest man on the face of the earth, the sons of the wicked. Right, yeah, you know. So, when you go, when you go down and say in 17, you say the basis of men, right, and we got when we jump back to Revelation 13 and verse 5, five it says what, and, and power was given unto him. Power was given on him, eh? Then he know that. Verse five. Verse five. Verse five. Verse five. Yeah. Power was given unto him, right? Job nine and twenty-four. Say what? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? So, so, right. But he been revealing this time through this word, right? So the Lord gave him a certain time to rule, which is what. Um, continue 42 months, which is 350 years. Remember, we broke that down through the last chapters. Mm -hmm. It would break down to 1,260 days, three and a half years, but these are prophetic years. So it signifies 350 years, right? Which is this bounds that he can't pass. Um, I, um, crackers, I could bring out Job 14 and 5. Job 14 and 5. But the Lord appointed this bounds, right? This devil um, was set up, you know, he ruled. He ruled it's 350 years from, from 1619 to around 1969-1970 when the Lord sent back the Holy Spirit out on us through, through Elder Abba Bivins. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh. Mm -hmm. Seeing his days, seeing his days are determined right. and numbered of his months are with thee. Which is the 42 months we just read there. Mm. Right, go ahead. Thou has appointed, uh, thou has uh, appointed, appointed mm -hmm. his bonds. Yeah, his bonds. Right, he can't pass them bonds. So really, actually, he saw them living on borrowed time. Right? They they know that they king. That's what they rushing. That's what the six scriptures say. The devil will come down with great wrath. No, he have a short time. Yeah. He not long again. So, you know, he gonna come down. But we are this, we are the biggest threat to him, this system. Right. right? We are the ones who opposing this devil system. And exposing and everything. Well, yeah, and expose. And there are other people exposing it, you know, but not on the level so and not through prof prophecy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, for one thing, is either some people know the scriptures mm -hmm. in the sense of they know certain breakdowns, they wouldn't know as deep as us. Mm -hmm. right? Then it are the others who. Just exposing you know, information. Yeah. Yeah. And and they are not even go deep or even serve, they don't even call names. Yeah. The most of them I say is the white people. Mm -hmm. Right? But they wouldn't call names. Like how we call names. And most times they don't understand that. That's why. They don't yeah, understand, they don't the understand the yeah, because yeah. through the scriptures they understand why this happening and mm -hmm. why what what's going on and all these things. Mm -hmm. They just telling themselves, hey, the white man doing this and thing, 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 go do it and thing. Yeah. They, they, they ain't a good advice based on that. You know? mm -hmm. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time they, they, they can't prove Mm -hmm. You know why that happening and whatnot. And beyond that, they can't give you the information to, to be saved. Can't. Right, they can't give. They don't can't give any name of the heavenly father and the son. Yeah, right, they, they can't tell you. The they're not preaching to repent and mm -hmm. to change your ways. Yeah. Come out of this devil place spiritually. Yeah. Right, these things are not me. So the prophet, the prophets are the ones set up to do that. Can. Right, that's what we're doing right now. Right, so the Lord, the Lord return the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Can. Right. Um. And this devil kingdom was 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 destined to fall as soon as they they lifted up itself and went up in space according to the book of obadiah mm -hmm. when they go to the book of obadiah talk about them you know when they setting up their satellites mm -hmm. and that is what signaled the end of the kingdom when they went up into space mm -hmm. right you know and, and that happened around the same time that Ab elder abba bivins would have come up with this holy spirit yeah mm -hmm. around, this, around like 60s late 60s 70s you see 
Yeah, actually. And then, first I like the book over the house much mm -hmm. eh? because in that same chapter where he said the Lord says when um where we talk about after the thousand years, mm -hmm. you know, our next thousand years for them again they're going back in slavery. Can. And then you know we the scripture say and the house of the so shall be no more. Yes. And that's what it breaks shall in from stubble. Yeah. It's stubble. That's what it breaks in from too. They know they're gonna get wiped out. After a thousand years they will be destroyed utterly destroyed. Yeah, wiped out like they never existed. Can. Can. That's right. Yeah, no more no more cities. No more names and no countries are for these devils. Can. All right. Yeah, let, let me get get some. Let me see Revelation 11. Now. You can pull it up on your phone there. God, the Spirit tell you, Lord, he, uh, 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 what major sign to? He said that them putting up the satellites and this this the space shuttle, the space system was part of this was a sign to. But another sign was that you know us getting the Spirit, the Holy Spirit returning unto the Israelites, the elect of Israel. That signified the end of Esau. All right. Let me see if I could get this here. Right, Revelation 11 and 11. Well, what, who are they talking about? Let me bring it out. Yeah, let me bring it out. This is Revelation 11 and 11. Mm -hmm. And after three days and half. You say 350 years. See how the scriptures are. Go ahead. The spirit of life from power. Entered into them, mm -hmm. and they stood upon their feet. Right, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. And we just broke down why they, why great fear fell upon them because they know they, they know the truth. They know the truth. Once the spirit of the Lord enter back in them, they know that the kingdom will not go down. Right. right, because they, 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 these devils took advantage of us. You know, they had us as slaves for all these years. We were the ones who built up the, 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 the riches. Right. right, for all them hundreds of years. Right, we, 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 we were on a real low level, we didn't know anything, we didn't know and we didn't know who we were, they never even told us. Yeah. Right? You know, they had us under hard labor, right? Bitter bondage. Right, and that's the reason why they have all what they have now is because the labor that we put in the free labor. Yeah. Right? Um, and the Lord gonna the Lord gonna mash them up, Sirach, Ak, you gonna bring Sirach ten and eight. Uh, Ecclesiastes ten and eight. Lord gonna Lord gonna deal with them and take them out, man. We're gonna take them out. Devil gonna be taken out because of his wickedness, mm -hmm. right? And the, 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 the punishment that them gonna get when we have them in sleep, you know, gonna be ten times worse. Yeah, double unto them. Yeah. Scripture said double and rent unto them double. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. This is the book of uh, this is book of Shirak. This is and this eight. Mm -hmm. Because of the unrighteous, because of the unrighteous dealings. Okay, read up your voice a little louder. Right? Yeah. In case this thing can't be killed. Because of the unrighteous dealings mm -hmm. uh, in theories mm -hmm. and riches got by by.